I just had to cover this topic of Elliot Kipchoge's teeth. This has been going around running forums for the last few, well, not decades, but definitely years. And it's something that a lot of people don't really understand. So in today's video, I'm going to be going over some of the theories, speculations, and just outright false information when it comes to Elliot Kipchoge and his teeth. One thing we have to remember is that Elliot Kipchoge came from a very, very tough upbringing where dental care isn't as openly accessible as it is in other countries in the Western world. Eli Kipchoge actually originates from a tribe of Kenyan people. Living is very simple and there are actually multiple reasons why he could have been missing one of these teeth when his photograph was taken at the ages of between 16 and 18 years old. A lot of great runners have actually been photographed with missing teeth and later on in their career they have them changed. Another example is Ethiopia's Salomon Berega, who had very crooked teeth and has recently undergone braces and orthodontics to re-straighten his teeth in the last few years. So, let's actually get into today's video, but before we do, make sure you hit subscribe if you are new to this channel, as I cover everything running, as well as all of the latest races and the latest running drama and running news. Firstly, I wanted to go over the basics. Let's start with reason one. Some Kenyan tribes intentionally remove their children's teeth to make space and room for wisdom tooth. Also, similar methods used to prevent lockjaw, decay spread, and even other spiritual unknown reasons. Each tooth is connected to an organ in the body. Now, apologize for the typos. I'm six foot five and my fingers are way too big for the touchscreen, so sometimes I end up pressing two letters rather than one. This is a very important reason, and probably the main reason is it was either some type of tooth decay or it was something to do with what his parents wanted. So to begin with, if you have a tooth decay and it gets to a point where it's eaten most of the tooth, then you simply have to have the tooth removed. Fillings can only take place during early times of cavities and dental caries. In places like Kenya and Ethiopia, it's a lot harder to access dentistry and try and keep good oral hygiene. I'm not saying that they didn't brush their teeth and I'm not saying that they have bad hygiene, but it's just more common in these countries than it is in the Western world. Most kids who are raised in England or the USA are taken on regular dentist trips at least once every two to three months to keep a close eye on their teeth, the development, and also the potential for cavities if the teeth are left uncleaned or you consume a high sugar diet. One thing you have to remember is that Eli Kipchoge may have just simply lost that tooth for multiple reasons. So we're going to go over another reason right now, which is reason number two. Eli Kipchoge had a cavity. Usually, unless you have the money for a filling or the cavity is only small, you can't get it drilled out and filled. You have to have the whole tooth taken out. In the UK and most of the Western world, they try and do something called a root canal, which in recent times have actually come under scrutiny because a lot of people think these are actually really bad for your health because they can cause a lot of issues deeper down in the root area rather than just pulling out the tooth and getting rid of the whole infection as one. Eli Kipchoge may have had an infection or some type of abscess which could have built up under his tooth or in and around the gum area. So most dentists will look at this and say, we can't keep this tooth, the infection is a part of the tooth, it's because of the infection and the dental stuff on the tooth. There are really technical terms for it, I've forgotten what the exact name, I think it's like strepto streptococcally or something like that. It's a strain of a mutane that basically eats away at the tooth and makes the tooth its home. Absolute nightmare and uh, yeah. <laughs> the, the one thing I really had to say is that when you have teeth problems and you can't have access to a dentist, it's like a living nightmare. That's why the only option really is to just pull the teeth out. 
uh, unless you want to wait until they get so bad to the point that you basically just have severe pain and multiple teeth because the nerve endings which are attached to the teeth cause a nightmare sending signals to your brain about the infection reason number three now this is also a really important reason as to why Elliot might have had a missing tooth is that he may have had an accident he may have gotten into a fight causing him to lose his tooth and fall from the root if you get into a fight you can get punched and if that punch is powerful enough it can actually knock your teeth out when i was younger i was cycling my push bike and i fell over and face planted because my mate cut me up on his bike I landed face first on the concrete and it kind of buckled my front tooth slightly. Thankfully I didn't actually lose my tooth and it was only my baby tooth so it wasn't my, I think it's called milk teeth, it wasn't my adult tooth but it was really painful and I had to have stitches in my upper lip as a result. So it could also be an accident that he had, maybe a car accident. He could have got in a fight, although I think that's very unlikely. Elliot doesn't come across as the type of guy to ever want to get into a fight or any confrontation. He's a very kind and respectful man. Which is why I'm more inclined to believe it was either that he had a decay or an infection, or it was simply that the tooth didn't come through. That's also a possibility, guys. Sometimes, because of malnutrition or other reasons, teeth just may not come through. One other possibility which I've been told, and I read this on a forum, but I think this is really unlikely, is apparently the Kalenjin tribe and the elders have a technique of actually taking teeth out to try and reduce the chances of cramped jaw and also locked jaw. So locked jaw is an actual disease. It's really, really nasty. I'll let you guys look that up. Basically, you get it from the soil, and in this case, it can kill you. But to remove teeth to allow space for the rest of the teeth is actually a common method even used in the UK. If a kid has too many teeth and they're just really cramped up and there's no room, then the dentist or orthodontist will remove some of the teeth to make way for the wisdom teeth and some of the teeth, the adult teeth coming through the gums further back. I can't believe I'm actually making a video on this, but this photo that I saw of Elliot with one tooth missing back in like 2004, I think, or 2005, actually was really going viral on Facebook as well as a couple of running forums that I look at. So I think it was Let's Run, I might be wrong, and then another forum were discussing the possibilities and like why he had no tooth. Obviously it's not really a big deal, like it doesn't define who you are if you have some type of a tooth missing. And in the next part of this video, I'm going to be going over what Elliot could have done to fix that. As you know now, he doesn't have teeth missing, he has had some type of dentistry work, which can be very expensive, but for Elliot, that's absolutely fine. He doesn't really need to worry about dentistry work costs because he is a millionaire and in Kenya he is doing very well for himself and uh, he is able to keep his family healthy and very very strong. So there's a couple of things Elliot could have done to fix that missing tooth. Uh, obviously we can't grow teeth back unless uh, it's a milk tooth that falls out when you're young and then you grow an adult tooth. Uh, unfortunately regeneration capabilities aren't there yet. Uh, I don't think we have any of the possibilities to do that. I think some scientists are looking at that. But as of current, the ways this can be treated are dental implants, veneers, comp uh, veneers composite bonding, and false teeth. So I think, in my opinion, it's an implant. I could be wrong. It's just all my opinion. Um, veneers, I don't think... Uh, I think he still looks like he has the same teeth. Veneers are quite bad because you have to shave all the teeth down to basically match sticks. It's very bad and uh, fake as hell, really. Um, composite bonding is where you stick like things that look like teeth over the top of your original teeth and you shave down the, uh, the enamel slightly and then stick it on. Uh, this is if you have uh, kind of discolored teeth or slightly crooked teeth but it's not bad enough that you have to get veneers. Now, false teeth is really hard to believe, but it is still a possibility um, that some people who have missing teeth and actually have bad hygiene or some type of bad genetics, 
then they just get false teeth. Obviously, this is way more common in like grandmas and grandpas who have lived a, a long life and they've been fighting disease and infection for way longer than any of us have if we're, you know, under the age of 50 or 60. But once you get into your 70s and 80s and 90s, uh, they're more of a common thing and it becomes an issue of, you know, it's bad luck basically and having to just put up with what life throws at you. A lot of people who are homeless or are addicts have uh, false teeth or no teeth. They just have gums. This is because the minerals in their bones have just disappeared basically. And when that happens, the demineralization of the bone leaves weaknesses because the enamel disappears. And then the infections and the bacteria make it their home. And they just start feasting on the raw material of the body. It's, it's really a living nightmare. Um, yeah. Uh, basically, if you think about it, guys, Ellie Kipchoge has been through hardship. So I think one missing tooth really is just not that bad. There's a lot of people in Kenya and not only Kenya or Africa, people all around the world who are malnourished, hungry. They're dying of thirst, starvation, lack of finances, no shelter. So one missing tooth. I don't get why everyone's bothered so much. I just felt like I had to make this video about it. Because it really doesn't matter. He is still the go-to the marathon. But the fact that he had a missing tooth in 2004 is somehow sparked so much controversy. So yeah, that's just my opinion. I think it is an a implant. And an implant is like something that looks like a tooth. And it just gets put basically connected to the gum. And it fills the space to make it look like you have that tooth. Um, no big deal. It would have cost him maybe like a few hundred pounds. Or if you convert that into Kenyan shillings, I don't know how much that is. Dentistry isn't cheap, especially nowadays since 2020 and lockdown and materials and the cost of everything went through the roof. So uh, inflation is uh, really making materials very expensive. Uh, dental implants and uh, uh, composite filling bonding material is, is very expensive. So anyway, I'm blabbing on right now. I, I don't know too much about dentistry, but I have researched it a few times. Um, Eli Kipchoge seems to be doing fine in terms of his dentistry now, so can we please just stop talking about it? Thank you, and like the video and subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.